What's going on guys? My name is Pavin Lakat, Madden Pro Raiders representative, and today I'm going to help you guys become better at the yard. Yard was a game mode added in earlier this year. This is the first year that it has been in Madden, and I could say it's a super dub. As someone who's been in many and multiple tournaments, I do have a lot of knowledge and experience of the game of John Madden football. I can 100% say I have some nice tips and tricks for you guys today. And my reasoning for this is coming up very, very soon uh, in March 5th and March 6th, there will be a 2v2 duos Madden invitation, Madden invite yard tournament. And I'm going to be pairing up with my dude, Henry. So like I said, man, I've been in a couple yard tournaments before. In late December, I played with Wesley and Kiv in a 3v3 Mutthead invite yard tournament. We got second. It was super fun. But honestly, I got a lot of knowledge. And then later on in January of this year, I played with Jonathan Abram, Raiders safety, man. Shout out to my Raiders. And that was super fun as well. We played duos and there were some nice highlights and clips in there as well. So hopefully, guys, I see you in the chat. See you rooting me on and Henry on March 5th and March 6th. Make sure to go check it out. See what's up. I also want to say this video is sponsored by EA. So, you know, just that's a big dub, guys. So with all that taken care of, guys, let's jump into my tips, my tricks, some gameplay, all that good stuff that I got for you guys today. Let's go. Guys, before we get into all the glitchy stuff, these are the teams, man. It's gonna be me and Henry, Kevin Wesley, Mills and Clef, Tony and Stiff, K-Mac and Problem, Drini and Joel, Fancy J-Wall, and Noah and John Beast. And basically, half of these teams will be making it on to day two, which is March the 6th. And you know, obviously, the further you go, the better you do in the tournament and all that kind of stuff. And if we do, and are able to make it to day two, we will be matching up with one of these four to make it a team of from duos to trios. And this is a very big dub. I'm a big Chris London fan and a Ya Boy Pizza fan. So hopefully, man, we get to match up with one of these four and big dub, man, just a huge dub. All right, guys, so the probably the most important thing about the yard is your, your archetype and your player build itself. And basically, I'm gonna go through, through these kind of fast and just break down which ones are the best in my opinion and which ones I personally use. So Truz is a pretty good one. I've used it a little bit, as you see, level five. And if you don't know how it works, the more yard games you play with that specific archetype, the more advanced your level will be. I believe it goes up to level 18. And there it is, as you can see, I have the lock, lockdown, leveled max. But going back to Truz, Truz, however you wanna pronounce it, it's basically, you know, you're gonna be a scrambling quarterback. You're gonna be making all these throws on the run, which is really honestly pretty effective in the yard, especially if you do the tactic of, you know, double passing. And then in my opinion, the best quarterback archetype is the golden arm. You get that gunslinger release, which we all know is very, very important in this year's Madden, whether it be the yard, whether it be, you know, just competitive itself. And, you know, playing the yard trios tournament for Mutthead a couple months back, we basically ran two golden arm quarterbacks and we ran a two quarterback system with one lock that's why my lock is leveled max basically with the two quarterback system we would often double pass to the left side you know whether that be joe or kid or you know the main quarterback took it himself and you know created a play so basically what i'm saying is you know if your play breaks down you have that option to double pass and with that, you have two gunslinger quarterbacks who could really, really throw the ball very effectively. And then here it is, the lock, what I personally use. Basically, we would draft players and I would you leave the CPU to guard, you know, guard whoever it may be guarding, aka my lockdown created player. I would just use her someone else and let him guard, let him guard who he had to guard. So with the abilities that he gets is Acrobat and Deep Route KO. If you guys know how effective Deep Route KO is, you just know why this is a very, very good combination slash archetype. Basically, he literally takes away a receiver slash one side of the field. And, you know, that makes it really easy to blitz. That makes it really easy to, you know, have three users play coverage. And honestly, it's just a really great way to play defense. Next, we got Jacked Up, the hybrid safety. It's pretty effective. I used it a couple of times. And honestly, these rest of the ones, um, they're okay if you use them. Shout out to you, but I haven't personally used them. The one I do know is the fast cat. So if you guys want to get really cheesy and get some easy scores, um, I saw someone doing this. They had a fast cat and basically they lined them up at this uh, long snapper position 
and they would simply put them on a go route. And that's very effective for the way a lot of people play defense in the yard. They like to send man blitzes, user rush blitzes, or even run a lot of cover too. So if you simply wanna just get some cheesy, nice scores, streak touchdowns, put a fast cat at the middle linebacker, AKA the long snap position, and let them go, go deep. As you see right here, guys, I do have my lock cornerback, and I'm gonna line them up either wide receiver one or cornerback one. Basically, that's wherever your skill position player is, that's where they're gonna play. You can obviously see the user like anywhere else, but for the most part, that's where I'm gonna play him. I'm gonna put him at wide receiver number one, guys. And of course, gonna select the lock corner because he is maxed out. And you know, if you guys really wanna find the best player, I recommend you know playing with all these guys and trying to max them up. That way you could 100% get better and that way you could truly see for yourself which one is the best. So as you see right here, guys, I'm gonna break down some of these abilities and hopefully we get the one I like the most. Jordan Love does have a skate art, it's pretty nice. Short out elite for Mercedes Lewis, Lumberjack Eddie Jackson unfakeable on Preston Smith and you know out of these five I would say Dalvin Cook is the best by far um, human joystick goes crazy in the yard next we got Kirk Cousins Roquan Smith Jimmy Graham Devontae Adams and unfakeable on Preston Smith once more I'm gonna go with Roquan is a little slow I'm gonna go with Devontae Adams guys and guys I think I found him and there it is the best ability in the yard by far red zone threat on justin jefferson you know we got to go with it and hopefully i can show you guys some glitches i am playing singles aka solos so i don't have a teammate to rely on so this is definitely going to come in handy and lastly last but not least probably we'll go with route tech uh i'll go with the route tech guys so here's my team man the main abilities i want you guys to look out for is basically this red zone threat hopefully i can show you guys what it is capable of doing in the yard guys the abilities for you know your skilled position players aka you know your archetypes i will tell you them really quickly in my opinion acrobat is really a must need especially if you have a defensive player a deep route ko that's what i use on my lock um, obviously escape artist as you see right here is extremely effective jukebox is all right but you know, if you have any combination of a quarterback, you could probably put, you know, escape artists on and then maybe inside dead eye to make some of those throws on the run. And like I said, man, for, you know, defensive players, 100% acrobat and deep route KO. We've all seen what deep route KO does. So that's what my favorite ability combos are for the archetypes. There are some definitely great abilities in the draft pool itself which hopefully I could show you guys and show you how effective they are. Guys, I am on Lambo tailgate head to head. We get three drives. There's a pass rush timer of one second. Basically after one second, you could get pass rush. Pass timer for four seconds. So if no one rushes you and you hold it for more than four seconds, it goes on to the next down. And OT of course, modified college. And this is a four game run. So if you go four no, you know, you, you ran the season and you go on to the next season, you level up and all that good stuff. So my favorite offensive play in the yard, and my, in my opinion, the best is corner fever. As you see right here, guys, deep and elite route technician, human joystick, pick artist, and deep route KO. Unfortunately, I don't have a red zone threat, but I'm gonna run hike before I could get sacked. It's right here, corner route, almost wide open. He kind of broke on the ball. It was a late read by myself. And this play is so effective because you just have so many options. I think I'm gonna go deep to Devontae Adams here, guys as I think I have them there, and there it is. We're gonna be on the board, guys. Um, like I said, this play is super effective because there's just so many options, and it's a really, really nice and fast, quick hike play. So right here, we're gonna run it again, and we're gonna smart route both these routes this time. I really wish I had a red zone threat, and maybe later on when I'm playing, I'll put in some clips, but this is where my red zone threat takes over, and I just chuck it up to him, and he gets me max points. It's right here, we're gonna just try to throw to Savage on the cut, and there it is, even with Acrobat, he can't get there. 10 points for us. And on defense, man, I like to either come out on goal line blitz or lock up blitz until it is like a second and long, third and long scenario. So right here, we're gonna try to put the pressure on him. That's right here, he's in a condensed set. So we're gonna see what's going on, man. If the tight end goes out, it's my responsibility is right here. He just automatically rolls out to the left. And you know, great defense by our, our guys. We'll take that any day of the week. But for solos, 100%, man, if you want to, Play good defense you have to go after the quarterback and make plays so basically i'm blitzing two guys unless the tight end goes out on a route which he did just so happened to go out on a route and that's my complete responsibility guys i messed up right there i kind of just 
wandered off and just, oh, it was just a bad play. So you did see that right there, guys, correctly. If you multi-pass, you do get an extra point for the touchdown. Uh, hopefully I can stop him. He's running this nice condensed set, so it is kind of hard to stop. Uh, like I said, man, the tight end is my responsibility if he goes on a route, and that's what he did. And we're gonna pick this off, or at least swat it down, which works in my favor. All right, guys, so I kind of got bagged on my last possession. He's pressing me up very good. So from here, I'm gonna just kind of abuse Devontae Adams because my guys are a little slower, but I do have route tech. And once more, Dalvin Cook sells a pass for us. But if they are pressing like that, he is getting a nice press animation. You simply just go to the other side or go to your route tech. So that's what we have right there. And he's finally in zone. And there it is, a double pass touchdown, I wanna say. And that's why that play is so good versus zone. Um, as you see right there, multi-pass touchdown, two bonus points. This game is pretty much over. And you know that's why corner fever is so effective. I'll hopefully string some more highlights for you, but it's a great play versus man. It's a great play versus zone. Hopefully he's in zone. He is in zone right here, and we can make a double pass. And oh my goodness, the release was too much, but you saw the potential, guys. There's wow. just so much you could do when you double pass. Hopefully we could end off this video with a nice stop. I'm once more using the tight end. Hopefully he does not go on a route, and he does, and there's insta pressure, and Justin Jefferson should get the pick, but that works as well, Darnell Savage, and we're gonna try to run it back. Unfortunately, we can't, but that's how I love to play offense and defense in the yard, whether it's solos, duos, or trios. And in my opinion, guys, the big difference is just the communication factor. When you're playing by yourself, there's really nothing to communicate uh, compared to you know when you're playing with more than one person you have to communicate tell them okay i want to go do this specific route instead of you know just not talking because that's how you put yourself in some bad scenarios and it's happened to me before guys hopefully in a little bit i'll match i'll play be playing some yard with henry and you know maybe hopefully i'll just highlight some clips of me us talking and you know you know you guys can see what goes on in a competitive yard game